a lot of bad news, but explain in your framing why you think that humankind is at this juncture uh, that's kind of an existential moment for us. Well, we've been around for, let's say, 300,000 years. We've had agriculture for 12,000 years, and yet we've come down to 100 years where the whole ball game is playing out. If you gave me the technology of 1900 and today's population, we, we've had it. We don't have a prayer. Uh, society as we know it will collapse. But if you reverse that and you give me today's technology and the population of 1900, which is one and a half billion, we cruise to glory. No problem at all. Everything will work out fine. It's just that little hundred year window, the race between technology, population, and uh, resources running out and pollution piling up. And it's going to be a very close horse race. Just let me say a little bit about the weather. Uh, I was presenting recently in a quarterly letter something I haven't seen before, and that is the first 50 years of the last century, the weather increased by 7 bips centigrade a year, 0 0.007. In the second 50 years... Just explain what that means, 7 bips. 0 0.007 degrees centigrade. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but... In the second 50 years, it increased by 15 bips, just over twice as much, 0 0.015. And if you take the El Nino outlier of 98 and you line it up with February of this year, another El Nino, that is escalating at 25 bips, 0 0.025, 15, 25. It's not just that the climate is warming, the climate is accelerating. My guess is we have no chance at two degrees, let alone 1.5, and that if we really try hard and run this race as best we can, it will get to three degrees centigrade. And at three degrees centigrade, North America has some inconveniences, and, and Africa is a basket case. So that's a little concerning. 